Hello, today I'm going to be upgrading slash replacing the uh, board in the PinePhone Braveheart Edition uh, with a 3GB Revision 1.2B, the Manjaro Edition phone uh, motherboard. Here it is. It came in this plastic container for me with that bubble wrap, and it also has this in it, and that was it, so I don't know what that's for. But all you need is a small Phillips driver to take out these screws. Alright, so once all 15 screws are out, uh, you should just be able to pull this cover uh, piece off, being careful not to snap the plastic, as you probably don't want to do that. And just like that, the board and camera are now exposed. There's the antenna, there's this. The camera, the other camera, I believe, and that to unsnap along with these two. Uh, and these little pieces just fold up, I believe. Just like that, that one folds that way. This comes up to you. This one, I believe, does the same thing, just like that. This one goes away. And be careful with these, these are easy to break. And then these just pop right off like so. And you should be able to, uh, carefully of course, careful with the camera, don't get your finger over top. Set that somewhere safe. Same with the other camera. You should just be able to pull the board off. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a couple snap points on that. That should be okay. This board does not work correctly, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so just pry that out of there. That should be all right. All right, so now that that's pried out of there, I just pulled it out uh, just like so, and I used a little screwdriver. Uh, there's the back side of this, and I, I really have no idea what that other sticker is for. Uh, let's try to see if I can figure it out. And I can't. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just going to take this and make sure all these connectors are uh, above or below, however you want to say it, above the board. I'm going to slide that into place. Again, making sure all the connectors are above. There's only a few connectors. Uh, make sure that screw hole is lined up. And I'm just going to Press down there, and press down right there, just like that. And the board is installed. I'm going to place the front camera in, just like so. And I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. It's just a way to do it. Uh, you probably want to use something more like pliers, uh, soft plastic pliers to avoid getting your fingerprints everywhere, but I'm honestly not super concerned about that. And that slides in. Make sure it's all the way in. You'll see it slide in. I'm going to push that down. And just gently I'll make sure it's in with the screwdriver. This one I will Again, same thing, lift that up from that side, and these will both slide in very uh, hard to do at this angle, but possible. Also, looking at this from quite a distance here. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that should just slide right in there. Being careful not to puncture anything. That is set down on there, that clicked in, and that should snap on there. Well, maybe not that one, and that one. Alright, 
and everything is snapped into place. I will now set, I really have no idea what uh, that other piece of plastic is for, but I'm just going to take that, snap that right back into place, and put the uh, screws back in. All right, and with all 15 screws back in place, uh, the only thing left to do would be to test it out. So to do that, I'm just going to put my SD card in, and then I'm going to put the battery in and hope nothing goes pop. I think we're good. And try to turn it on. Okay, and as you can see, it is running, and it is running just fine. Uh, no problems there. Uh, so far, so good. So, uh, <laughs> if I can figure out how to navigate that. So, uh, thank you for watching.